So what I want to do in the next couple of podcasts here and actually finish off this combination section is with a whole bunch of crazy examples, all right? So pitter-patter, let's get at her. Let's look at example number seven. This is at a general meeting, every person shakes hands with every other person. Yeah, that makes sense. For a total of 300 handshakes. Now, wait a second. When you're shaking hands, you're choosing, aren't you choosing two people to shake hands? I've never seen like three or four people shake hands at once. It's kind of uncomfortable. You shake hands with the very next person. So there's two of you who shake hands. But think about it. It says there were a total of 300 handshakes. So doesn't this equal to 300? Uh, is there something missing here? Yeah, right there. What would that be? It says how many people are at the meeting? Ah, so that's N, I see. So we're in a little bit of a predicament here. We have to somehow solve this thing in order to figure out N. Okay, back to the formula. This means N factorial over, what do we have here? Ah, okay, wouldn't that be N minus two factorial over two factorial here? That has to equal to 300. But wait a second. 2 factorial, seriously, 2 factorial is simple. That's 2 times 1. That just equals to 2. All right? So that's just the same as saying 2. Well, let's do a little cross multiplication here. We then have n factorial over n minus 2 factorial equals to 600, don't we? Ah, okay. So let's go back to what we learned earlier. And we realize that n factorial is just n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 dot 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 all the way to 3 to 2 to 1. Do I have to put this 3 to 2 to 1 stuff down? Absolutely you do. Absolutely. You have to tell me that this particular notation ends right there. Now look what we have on the bottom. We have n minus 2 factorial which is keeps on going to guess what? 3 to 2 to 1. Uh -huh. All of that nonsense then cancels and if you think about it then we have 600 equals to n squared minus n. All I'm doing is distributing this. Bring that over to the other side. We have 0 equals to n squared minus n, right? Minus 600. Oh, that's simple factoring. We could figure that out, can't we? n minus 25, n plus 24. So, let that equal to 0, of course. We know that n has to be equal to 25. So, in other words, 25 people were at the meeting. There you go. So, this is a 25 choose 2. And if you don't believe me, go right back to here. And go 25 alpha choose 2. Let's see if we get 300. How do we do? There's verification right there that you did the right thing. Okay? All right. So, more questions coming.